Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Lori Hill and I make videos about plastic surgery. My goal is to remove the veil of secrecy that surrounds plastic surgery and also to diminish the stigma. To show you that beauty is attainable. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe. This is the only plastic surgery YouTube channel not hosted by a plastic surgeon. My degree is in the dental field. Today we're going to do the iconic Marilyn Monroe. She is one of my personal favorites and I'm ecstatic to be doing this video. I've got my Marilyn Monroe makeup on and for those of you who don't like it, tough because this isn't a makeup channel. Let's get started. Norma Jean Mortensen was born on June 1, 1926 in Los Angeles, California and lived there until her death on August 5, 1962. So we all know her by the name of Marilyn, so I'll refer to her as Marilyn from this point on. Marilyn had a tough childhood. Her mother, Gladys, suffered from mental illness, which kept her from being able to care for Marilyn. And her father was already separated from the family when she was born. For most of Marilyn's childhood, she was raised in foster homes. Some of the reports I read said up to 12 foster homes, as well as one orphanage. It's very likely that it's this upbringing that nurtured Marilyn's lifelong search to be loved. Here are some amazing early photos of a young Marilyn Monroe. Let's look at her natural beauty traits. Looking at Marilyn's young face, there are many beautiful features that pop out all at once. Notice how all of her features work really harmoniously together to create a lot of expression in her face. I notice her gorgeous auburn hair and huge, horizontally long eyes, her heart-shaped face, with a corresponding widow's peak and her beautiful smile. One thing to keep in mind when looking at photos of Marilyn Monroe is that a lot of Marilyn's beauty came from her essence and not from having a perfect face. If you talk to historians, a lot of them will cite many, many actresses that were much more beautiful than Marilyn Monroe. But Marilyn had that certain something it was actually a lot harder to obtain than just being beautiful. She had an intoxicating essence, and it was something that fascinated both men and women alike. Marilyn Monroe was a small-time model before she became signed to a Hollywood studio. The competition for a Hollywood studio's attention was rough in those days. Back then, the studios would sign actresses directly, and they would act as almost their managers and agents. If you wanted to be working in Hollywood, you needed to listen to the studios. Actresses would do just about anything, and that included getting plastic surgery. In 2013, Marilyn Monroe's medical records were sold at auction, and some of the things in it were released. So we do have some validation as to what plastic surgery procedures she's had. And as we go along, I'm gonna call those out to you. The first procedure that Marilyn was rumored to have had was electrolysis to her hairline. Electrolysis is a way of removing the fine hairs that grow along the hairline. In those days, hair removal was was very painful. Electrolysis was performed using this torturous looking device here. Let's take a look at the following before and after photos. You'll notice a deeper widow's peak and a higher looking forehead. Marilyn was rumored to have hated her forehead for some reason, but I adore the way it looks. It gives her a childlike quality to her face. Let's talk about Marilyn Monroe's famous sultry eyes. Marilyn has some famous bedroom eyes. They are sultry and captivating. But have her eyes always looked like this? Well, actually, when photos of her modeling first surfaced, we see a fresh faced and wholesome wide-eyed look to her eyes. Marilyn has a flap of skin that appears to be resting on her upper eyelid, as well as quite limited makeup space. Now look at the after photo. While the eyebrow pad is still full, we can see that the extra flap of skin is gone and the space between her upper eyelid and brow has increased. This is a sign of a blepharoplasty and a coronal brow lift. As I was looking at Marilyn Monroe's early photos and then just a few years later when she came to Hollywood and got that glamorous look, as I looked at her face, my mind kept thinking there's something going on with her cheeks. Her cheeks look so different. And it wasn't until my co-researcher suggested that through this brow lift, her cheeks were also upswept and altered that I actually realized that what my brain was saying was right, that her cheeks had changed. And if you look at her later photos, she always had this high cheekbone look that 
really she didn't have as a younger teen. Although you can lose fat from your face, you're not gonna get the fat redistribution that she got. For example, you can lose it from here, but you're not all of a sudden gonna get fat coming up and migrating to your cheekbone. So that is a sign of her having some cheek work during this brow lift. But let's talk about this blepharoplasty. Do you guys remember in my Kylie Jenner episode where I told you that a flaw was actually responsible for the look of Kylie Jenner's eyes? This flaw is called brow compensation. And it's exactly the reason for Marilyn Monroe's sultry half shut eye look. Brow compensation is a term used for when eyebrows try to overcompensate for an overly aggressive skin removal from a blepharoplasty. What happens is the eyebrows raise higher in an attempt to open the eyelids more. Both in Marilyn's case and in Kylie's case, the flaw worked in their favor and produced this sexy and sultry look to their eyes. I did confirm the brow compensation with my blepharoplasty surgeon, Dr. Tavon. Now, while I do believe that Marilyn Monroe had both a blepharoplasty and a coronal brow lift, I don't think they were done in a surgery together. I think Marilyn first had that coronal brow lift, then a few years later she had that upper blepharoplasty. And the blepharoplasty contributed to her sexy half-shut eye look. Now, I'm saying contributed, but not created. Marilyn would purposely half shut her eyes for photos and for film to look even more sexy. Look closely at the inner eye area. Do you see how it looks pulled and then this area looks flat? This is a classic sign of an aggressive upper blepharoplasty. Marilyn was naturally beautiful. She just looked more wholesome. So Hollywood used this wholesome look as a canvas to glam her up. Now let's talk about Marilyn Monroe's chin. Marilyn had a delicate small chin that really lent well to her innocent and wholesome image but definitely did not suit her strong leading lady image. One day while at a casting call, she heard the director refer to her as the chinless wonder. The chinless wonder. This is for all of you who have been bullied for your looks. Take heart in the fact that the world's most beautiful woman was called this. So shortly after overhearing this comment, she sought out a chin implant and she got either a cartilage graft to her chin or a sponge graft. Marilyn didn't want anyone knowing about this chin implant, so she makes up a story to postpone a screen test and she tells the director that she fell on her chin. Well, once she's all healed up, she goes and does the screen test and the director looked at her and said, honey, you should have fell on your chin two years ago. Let's talk about Marilyn Monroe's nose. This is a feature that I always noticed was different from her early face to her more glamorous Hollywood face. To me, it's so easy to see that it's been entirely slimmed down. It was probably not a nose job that needed to be broken to be fixed, but it looks like a significant amount of cartilage was removed from the tip, entirely slimming it and removing the bulbous quality to it. Dr. Pangman, the one who worked on Marilyn's chin, actually claimed he did the nose job, but in the medical records, there's no record of it. But a famous Hollywood surgeon named Dr. Norman Leap was friends with Dr. Pangman, and he wrote in this book that Marilyn Monroe had a slight rhinoplasty. Last but not least, let's talk about Marilyn Monroe's famous body. I think just as famous as Marilyn was for her face, she was equally as famous for her body. She is a kibby type romantic, which is described as soft and voluptuous with an hourglass figure, with a curvy bust line and hips and a small waist. Two different people connected to plastic surgeons claimed that Marilyn Monroe had her breasts made larger. One of them claimed that Marilyn sought treatment after one of her breasts became infected. Breast implants were still in their infancy back then. If Marilyn did have her breasts operated on, it would not have been breast implants. Rather, she may have had a fluid injected into her breasts, and most likely that fluid was either silicone or something else that was medically graded. Another option could be that she had sponges put in her breasts as they experimented a lot with sponges during that time. For my part, I'm actually not sure if she had her breasts worked on. She did fluctuate a lot in weight over those years, 
so it could have been weight fluctuation. Also, it's really hard to tell when somebody gets a liquid injected into their breast because that liquid doesn't take on the shape of an implant, rather it just goes everywhere. I hope that she didn't have silicone placed because silicone without the boundaries of an implant bag will go everywhere in the body and it's impossible to remove. So let's add up the cost of Marilyn Monroe's procedures. I was not able to get actual prices from the 1950s, but what I did was I put in today's current Beverly Hills prices and you can always look up the total and figure out what it would have been in 1950. Electrolysis to her hairline, 600 a visit. Chin implant, 6,000. Coronal brow lift, 15,000. Blepharoplasty, 6,000. Nose job, 15,000. Silicone injections to her breasts. You guys, I don't have a price for this because it's not legal. Total cost is $42,600. Marilyn Monroe, whether natural or not, will always be a legend. There is something about the Marilyn Monroe mystique that is unmatched and unforgettable even to this day. Is there another legend that you're thinking of that I should talk about? Let me know in the comments below. Up next, we have my completely bingeable celebrity playlist with people like Kylie, Kendall, Lana Del Rey, Madison Beer, and more. So check that one out if you haven't seen it. Or check out my Scarlett Johansson plastic surgery video. But be warned, that one is controversial. So which one are you gonna choose?